Okay, here we go. Egg cutting number one for Happy People Pythons. Eight beautiful eggs. Today is day 54, but they seem fully developed. The snake inside is very firmly pushing back when you squeeze the egg, gently squeeze the egg, and uh, they seem desiccated enough. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to cut these eggs. Let's get started. Pairing was a super enchy orange dream fire male to an orange dream female. Let's see how this goes. Egg number one. I'm going to go with the uh, mutation creation style. This is the type of egg cutting I've seen the most of, and it seems pretty effective and safe. Do a little bit of a, a roll to push away the membrane. Let's see. Have these fancy curved scissors from Cornell's World. I placed an order with them and the shipping was a lot. So I wanted to keep adding stuff to make it more worth the shipping and end up adding these scissors and let's see how they go. Egg number one. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Definitely an orange dream. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a better. Maybe orange dream and she. Fire in there? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, it's definitely Enchi. Let's see the side of the eye strike there. Beautiful, bright animal. Can't wait to see what that looks like when it comes out. So, one in four of these eggs should be a super orange dream based on the pairing. So, if I don't know enough about how to identify those, uh, you know, immediately. So, it's one of those things I'll have to compare once they're all coming out of the egg. So that's one down. Let's see, egg number two. Let's be honest, I probably won't be able to identify any of these. This is my first time. I mean, if I get like a single gene Enchi or something, or single gene, uh, well actually everything will be at least Enchi because the male was super Enchi, so. Anyway, let's go on. Egg number two. Wow. Let's see. Oh, there's a little nose. Okay, well, this is looking orange dream to me. Orange dream Enchi. So now that's what I'm talking about. Maybe this makes me think maybe the other one was super orange dream Enchi. Fire even. But beautiful animal. I hope the color comes through. It's this nice and orange. Nice reduced pattern you can tell already. Beautiful little animal. Okay, let's go. Egg number three. This one's pretty small. I'm not sure how big the animal inside is going to be. It's probably going to be tiny, tiny. Oh, I'm getting some blood on there from the last egg. This is so cool. Again, obviously Enchi because Enchi's in everything. Thinking again, OD Enchi. Let's see what this looks like. It's hard to tell. 
Definitely Anchi. Definitely OD. I don't know if it's fire. I don't know. It's going to be fun to watch these all come out and compare them. So far, most of these eggs are pretty... I mean, it's been pretty clean. I haven't been making a mess here, so... They're definitely ready to cut. I'm glad I decided to cut. Because these are... Definitely coming up to the point where they'd be ready to pep soon on their own if if they have that ability. And let's see. What's that, sweetie? Uh, wow. Okay. So far. I mean, I'm no expert here, but I think we've got Orange Dream in everything so far. Now, of course, there's Orange Dream on both sides of the pairing, so two out of three should be at least one Gene, one Orange Dream, Gene, one copy. Look at that. Such a reduced pattern. Really cool. Here we go, egg number five. Let's try to do this so you can see. Egg number five. Let's go. Super OD. That's what we want. I want a super OD inchy fire. Honestly, a male or a female, I would keep, I think. Oh, look at this. This way. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that head stamp. Again, it's definitely OD, and she, but I don't know how to ID if it's super OD or if it's got fire until I see them all come out. Um, I'm not experienced enough to ID it right out, right out the egg, but nonetheless, beautiful animals. All these are beautiful. It like peach. Yeah, it does look like a peachy color, huh? It's beautiful. Okay, here we go, egg number six. Again, there's no crazy surprises in here. So it's not like we're aiming for some impossible odds. Like, I mean, one in eight will be a super OD and she fire, and that's kind of what I want. But beyond that, it's not like we can open it and be like, oh, you know, we hit a you know, one in 32 or, or something like that. There's nothing like that here. Genetics are kind of simple, but that's okay. It's still really exciting. Right, Sophia? Wow. OD for sure again. So far I'm certain there's orange dream in every single one of these, which is awesome. And obviously Enchi is gonna be in everything, so so far all of them are at least OD Enchi. What a beautiful animal. This is egg number seven. This one, let's see.
in a while. Okay. I'm thinking Super OD. I'm thinking Super OD and G Fire. Beautiful. Amazing ammo. Let's get a fresh piece of paper towel here and we'll open the last one. So far, I'm pretty sure every single animal here has OD, which is amazing. And I think just looking. Looking over at what we have over there, I'm thinking like two of them are super OD, from what I can tell. Let's see what we got here. Oh wow. I can't so much of this one. I don't know for sure that one has OD. Again, it's definitely at least Enchi, maybe Enchi Fire. I don't know. We're going to put that aside and we'll find out soon. Okay, and here they are, all set up in their egg box. We're going to put them back in the incubator and check on them a couple times a day over the next few days and watch them come out of the eggs. It's going to be very exciting to see them all come out and get their IDs on, on what genetics they are, they all have, and uh, eventually sex them and get to pick one or two holdbacks. We'll see. But yeah, thanks for checking it out and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Okay, here we are, 11 days later. Everybody has hatched, obviously. They've been out of the egg since probably, well, most of them came out the next day. One of them was a bit stubborn, came out about day three. And then we've just been waiting for them to all shed out, which they've almost all done. We have one left that hasn't shed. And the one that, the last one to hatch. Exactly, it was the, one, the last one that came out of the egg is also the last one to shed, which makes sense. So here we are. I guess 11 days later, we're going to sex them and put them in their own tubs with some water. And then in about four days or so, three or four days, we'll offer them their first meal and see how that goes. At the same time, we're going to do our best to give a preliminary ID. As I stated before, this is our first time, so I don't expect it to be too accurate, but it'll give us at least a starting point. And uh, maybe I'll refer to some people with a little bit more experience to help me finalize the IDs on these guys. But here we go. Let's start with, uh, we'll call this one number one. Look at you, you get to be number one. It's obviously OD all day. I think it's super OD Enchi. That's my guess. I don't 100% know how to identify fire, but some of them have a lot more flaming on the back, I guess, or blushing, as you, you can see here, for example. So I guess for now, I'm going to call it a super OD Enchi and we'll. Adjust as necessary. I don't know. Maybe it is fire. <laughs> it's pretty bright. I don't know. Like I said, we'll we'll refer to somebody with more experience before we finalize anything. We already sexed a couple, so we know uh, what a couple are, but we don't. We haven't like memorized their patterns or anything, so we don't know exactly. Well, them. either way, I want to double check here. This one's a female for sure. So we're gonna call this one. Uh, Clutch one, hatchling one. I want to. Got my lovely assistant here with me, my partner in crime. She's gonna send them up in their tubs. And we'll call this one number two. So now this looks similar to me. 
either OD NG fire or super OD NG. Mm. No, it looks fire to me. Or maybe it's OD NG fire. That's what I'm calling it for now. OD NG fire. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. We can always fix that later. It's not like we don't have lots of time. So this is a boy, I'm pretty sure. Let's get a better grip here. No, that's a female. I don't know if you guys can see. That's a female. There we go. Number two. You put her away for me. Thank you. And let's see. I didn't really have any rhyme or reason how I was picking these, but maybe I should get these out of the way while I got them both in front of me and leave some more exciting stuff after. Oh, come on. So this, I'm almost certain, is uh, Enchi Fire. And this, I believe, probably just an Enchi. I haven't shut out yet, so I can't do a proper comparison, but that's my guess for the moment. Enchi Fire, Enchi. We'll see. Let's go with this one. And she fires a bright, beautiful, bright animal. I'm not sure how much of that comes through, but it's beautiful. Before we set it up, you got a bin ready? That is a female. Oh, I don't know if I could, I could do that for the camera. But anyway, so another female. Was that three females? Yes, three females in a row. Are you marking the sex on the bin? Yeah, I was about to ask you. So it's pretty easy, like for now, like I know. Yeah, just put it at four, three females. Okay, let's go to this one. It hasn't shed yet, but we should be able to still sex the animal. Just leave it to be just an inchy. And let's see. I have no idea if this is even in focus. I sure hope so. That's a male. I don't know if you guys can see that, but pretty obvious. Couldn't get more obvious than that. Oh, he's probably a day, or, day or so away from shedding. That's the fourth, right? Yep, number four. Okay, while well, she's getting that one set up, let's pick another one. This one. Is it a male? A male? Yes, that one was a male. This one is, okay. There's a lot more, like the pattern isn't as clean as those other ones. So you can see like, a little bit of speckling in the top, but very little. I mean, it's still a little clean, but that makes me believe this one isn't super OD. So I'm saying, I'm thinking OD Inchy Fire, or just OD Inchy, even. I've never hatched, you know, single gene ODs before, so I don't know what they, <laughs> they look like, to be fair. But to, I'm going to call it until I can get some more expert advice. I call it uh, OD Enchi Possible Fire, I guess. Like, I haven't hatched any single gene ODs before. Like, we haven't, we haven't had any other clutches. This is true. This is our very first clutch. But that's how you learn, right? As we, once I get these all ID'd in the future, it'll be able to ID them easier. Yes. This is a female. So, there we go. I think number five. Number five, and it's our fourth female. Wow. Of course, I'll sex these over again, maybe in a few weeks. But for now, I'll put preliminary labels on them while she's setting that one up. We got three left here. 
We got this room. These ones are all stunning. It's hard to tell. I don't know if it comes through the camera, but there's definitely a bit of a slightly different color in these. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. Like the orange flaming, the blushing. Beautiful animals. But again, I have no idea how to tell them apart. So we're going to call this one, we're going to call all three of these, I think, Super OG Flyer because they're super bright and clean as far as the patterns. And they all have like this beautiful, like orange blushing and, and flaming up the sides. So, no, no, they all have inches really because I remember the, the daddy's a super inch. Yeah, super OG Oh. Well, okay, you're correct. Super OD Enchi Fire. This is a male. Yes. I keep forgetting to actually aim that at the camera, so I don't know if you guys, if I showed it to you, but this is a male. I have my wonderful tattoo on my hand that I did. Very cool. And that one was number six. This is a male. Yeah. And yeah, to me this looks super OD and NG fire. It's just gorgeous. I'm gonna have at least one cold back in this clutch. It might be two. I don't know. I mean, my, my, all my projects are kind of recessive, like for the future. That stuff growing up is all recessive projects, but these are really pretty. It's my first clutch, so I might have to keep a couple back. Let's see what you got. I'm trying my best to be thorough without mangling this animal, but looks like female to me. Again, we'll recheck. None of these are locked in stone until we check another day. For my for my money, it looks female. Number seven, yeah. Oh yeah, got one animal left. Hey, buddy, sorry. So look what I'm doing. And this is number eight of clutch number one of 2021, which is also the last clutch of 2021 and the only clutch of 2021. And it came on December 26th of 2021. So, you know, first clutch we've had. And yeah. And it is now, yeah. So, let's see. I don't know what you guys think. Super OD. Inchy fire, that's what I think. But we'll see. I mean, there should be only one in eight odds of getting a super OD inchy fire. And I'm calling the last three super OD inchy fire. It's not impossible, but it's unlikely. I, I'm, I'm probably wrong in at least one of these, but I'm learning. So pretty sure that's going to be male, doesn't he? Hey, buddy. Oh, that's female. And the last one was also a female, right? Or do you remember? Did I put it as a female? Number seven? Yes. Nothing. I don't know. What did we say? <laughs> I think we said female. Oh, here, there are. Again. Hand them back. I'll, I'll check again. But show this one's female. Still getting uh, used to how much pressure to put, so I'm, that's why I'm not calling all these females 100 percent because there's only so much I'm willing to squeeze, you know. For now, once they have a little bit of maybe two or three meals in them, and we might feel a little better about it. Show the hand of this one there. Back to number seven, and let's double check. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's female. That's correct. 
female. So that's it. That's clutch number one. I'll put away. We'll give you guys some updates in the future. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.